I want to get to this before I go into my news video. Um, I'm going to be hopefully going to the uh, Rutgers meeting thing that has Obama coming. In. I'm gonna bring my camera hopefully and get some footage and do some shit with the videos and stuff. So hopefully I'll be going to that. Um, I just gotta find out where they're meeting and uh, then I just gotta ask my friends if I can go crash at his house because I'm not sure. It goes from like four to eight, and like when it gets to eight, I'm gonna have nowhere to go unless I ask one of my friends to give me a ride to my house. So either way, I'm probably gonna go. I'll just have to go crash at like my friend's house. Um, but let's get into what I now call tensions in Tehran. And you can figure out what that means or what that spells out. So Iran is now fr has freed the eighth of nine British embassy workers, employees, uh, that have been detained by Iran. Uh, last remaining detainee in Iranian is the embassy's chief political analyst. He's been charged with acting against national security. Uh, Gordon Brown, who's the United Kingdom's Prime Minister, described the continued detention as unacceptable and unjustified. Uh, the Supreme Leader warned the West not to meddle. Some leaders of the Western countries at, at the level of President, Prime Minister, and Foreign Minister openly inter intervened in Iran's national internal affairs had nothing to do with them. Ayatollah Ali Khomeini as, was quoted as saying on Iranian state television. Then they said they don't ha intervene in Iran's internal affairs. Um... So, let's see, protests gripped Tehran and other Iranian cities after June's presidential election and claim, amid claims that the vote had been rigged in favor of uh, Mr. Uh, Holocaust denier. Tehran has repeatedly accused foreign powers, especially Britain and the U.S., of st stoking unrest after the election. Uh, really, all i got to say about this article is... Just let the guys go so they can get out of the fucking country so they can't meddle. Fuck you. And if we want to meddle, we're gonna meddle. Yeah. You can't really stop us since you have no real military force that rivals our military forces. So we'd basically just bomb the shit out of your military bases and basically leave you crippled if we wanted to. Not saying we should, but we can't. And, um... Is like basically the whole Khomeini is like, oh, should not meddle. Fucking intervening, and we're intervening because that we're we have troops in a country that's close to yours, which is in turmoil. And I don't get how you can claim that we are stoking unrest in the fucking country that you basically rigged an election in, and people are gonna be a little bit pissed off when their votes don't get counted. Um, shit's gonna happen when you try to rig an election, motherfuckers. Like, really, things are gonna happen. Except in America, where people just silently, silently accept everything. But in Iran, people fucking riot. I mean, fuck, you can go back to when they took Americans hostage in the embassy. Like, fucking Christ. People take action in your country. <laughs> People do, so don't blame us for causing unrest that you fucking caused. Or ca accusing us of stoking unrest. When you're the motherfuckers who fucked over their own countrymen, so it's your own asses on the line, not ours. And, uh, that's pretty much it. I'll put a link in the description so you can go read the full article. I'll just give you an overview of what I read. Um, but go there for the full article. There's a video, uh, and give my give me give give your own impressions in a comment or video response if you want to. Don't have to, but if you want to, peace out.